For 2024, we have a completely redesigned all new model for you. The old model from the previous years has been replaced. And this is now the HD series living vehicle. Every year we improve upon last year's model. And once we come out with something better, we stop selling the old stuff. So a lot of great new features in this unit. Um, a lot of things you've never seen from us before. So we're excited to show you um, starting on the outside here. So this is gonna be one of two models. Well, same model, but we have two floor plans for this year. So stay tuned for another video. We'll show you the 24 foot HD. This is the 30 foot. This is the biggest, baddest flagship product that we offer. It's the full time living, ultra capable, off grid, highly sustainable and self-sufficient. Now, what does that mean? So our goal has always been to be a self-sufficient unit, um, creating its own energy, um, that's power, uh, water. We just released the first RV application for water generation technology. No way, that you just said that as if it's just kind of a, an everyday thing. We create water with this unit now. Yeah. So we pull water out of the air and we fill up the freshwater tank using solar energy. That's amazing. That we, did th that we did this. Um, so this unit has the most solar out of any unit that we've ever seen. And there's a lot of things that have allowed us to do that. So come take a look. We've got the, the primary solar awning that you're all used to. If you've seen other videos, uh, this is the 48 inch awning that comes out. You push a button, it's got solar all the way. Uh, you've got some great images right now that you're looking at that show you the, how much solar is up on the roof. And what we've done with this model, come over here, you see another solar awning on the other side. This is the same exact thing. This is another, we call this the dual solar awning. It's like a butterfly. It allows for massive amounts of solar. With this HD model as configured, there's 4,400 watts of solar on this. That allows for complete independence. You can run every single electrical system on this unit from off-grid power using solar energy completely. Let's look at more. So one of the things that allows us to do that is that we had to clear off the roof. To get more solar panels on the roof, we had to get rid of two major things, and that was the, our, the air conditioners. I'm going to actually take a step back, and I'll show you this other unit right here. This is a previous model year. I think this is a 2022. You see the standard rooftop air conditioner. That's a Coleman-style standard RV air conditioner. We wanted to replace that with solar panels and get a dual solar awning. This is what allowed us to do that. We have a mini split dual zone 240 volt air conditioning system completely integrated into the unit. This is on slides, you can pull it out, but what this allows you to do, you don't have to pull it out when you're running it. You can run all of the heating and air conditioning completely from the energy system day in and day out forever. As long as there's sun, you can run the energy system and power the air conditioning and heat. Yeah, so again, the goal is to be off grid and not take something this beautiful and powerful to just stay in an RV park um, and be plugged in. Um, when we go inside, we'll show you the mini split. Um, it is so quiet and efficient. Um, you're gonna love it. Yeah, uh, so you can see one of the things that I just really want you to take note of is get in close and look at the details, how we put things together in this unit throughout this tour. Just notice the type of hardware that we use, the type of finishes, the miter joints, the way we put together parts of the unit. Over the years, we've really invested in the quality of everything that we do here. So it's, it's our first and foremost goal to create the most quality unit possible in everything that we do. So as we walk our way around, you'll see the major change here. This is now a tri-axle unit. This has an off-grid package installed with Goodyear Wrangler tires. This is a mud terrain style tire, and this allows for use in all different kinds of weather conditions. Uh, we had somebody here recently tour this vehicle that reviews RVs for a living. They said they never saw tires like this in an RV. Yeah, we use, we use kind of the highest end tire possible you know of a uh, you know we don't we don't use the standard trailer style tires uh, these tires are uh, backed also by disc brakes so we have electric over hydraulic disc brakes which are phenomenal to give you lots of stopping power but the reason we went to three to three axles instead of two more capacity more durability because we're optimizing for quality first this is a heavy unit this unit weighs let's see starts around 14,000 pounds and you can go all the way up to 20,000 pounds with the GBWR. Let's take a pause so people can comment on how heavy How heavy it is. It is. This is Can't a heavy Can't wait to respond to your comments, guys. <laughs> this is a heavy <laughs> unit. Now mind you, there's amazing trucks and that's one of the things Joanna mentioned at the beginning of this video. We're going to do a tour of the truck, a little teaser tour of our 4500 Ram beautiful diesel truck specifically outfitted for this unit specifically. We'll go more into that in another video, but we're going to show you that at the very end of this video. 
So let's continue around. We'll show you just some details about this. Um, if these were, oh, that one's not open, but this one is. We'll show you the details of the hatch. This is an amazing hatch. There's no other hatch like this in the entire RV market. We completely custom build this hatch. It's a two inch hatch. Quality is foremost with everything we do. Automotive grade style lock latches, locking mechanisms, post locks here, dual seal door. The extrusions are just fantastic. And it's just so much storage in there. Uh, for those of you that are just learning about living vehicle and wondering what is this thing all about, um, we primarily use parts that are not seen in regular RVs, um, marine quality, commercial grade, military stuff. Um, our units are designed for full-time off-grade use, and that means that they're built differently. Absolutely. Um, built differently and built to function differently. You know, you can function in four seasons. You know, that mini split air conditioner that we showed you earlier, that can go all the way down to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. So you can operate this in freezing temperatures and this conditioned basement stores all the tanks, sensitive electronics, plumbing, and that is what allows you to accomplish that. Joanna loves summer, I love winter, so we kind of get the best of both worlds. We can go in those environments and still be extremely comfortable in the most extreme, you know, climates wherever you travel and have that, that freedom, you know, because LV is all about freedom and having the capacity to get there. Um, very high-end tankless water heater as we continue along the front of the unit. So some of the evolutions, we did move the generator. So this is a generator compartment. We have this to the front now. I can pull this off. This is just something to note. Like, you can see the quality of everything that we do. You know, on any standard RV, this would be like a 16th inch panel. Um, but I'll just set this aside. It also doubles as a shield, so if you <laughs> encounter a bear or, you know, a zombie. If you ever want to, yeah, um, harness your inner Spartan warrior, you can pull off that and then use it to fend off zombies. Um, so we've got amazing 1 8 inch rock guards. This is a consumable product, so even if, you know, when you do dent this, you can remove this, replace it. Uh, the front of the unit, we have a 6500 Onan generator. Now, this is about time we should talk about what is LV. It's a electric trailer. So, but oh, I just showed you a, an Onan generator. Now, why do we have that? You beat me to that. So yeah, so the new buzzword, right? All the RV manufacturers, whether they've been around for a while or you see a lot of new ones popping up, everybody is claiming they have created the first all electric RV ever built in America. It's yeah. so exciting. Yeah. We've been doing that for six years. Um, the thing is we do have redundancy put in place. Right, so every system in the unit primary system is powered by electricity. So it's an all electric unit powered by the sun. This is just another angle, but take a look at those beautiful dual solar awnings with 4,400 watts of solar. By the way, you can put another 1,600 watts of deployable solar, put them on the ground up to 6,000 watts of solar on this unit and power everything on here. But we're living in the real world. You don't always get to be sunny in 75. We're very fortunate today in Santa Barbara. It is that, and we're generating a lot of power. But when you travel and maybe you want to travel in the winter, when you only get four hours of sun or you wanna go somewhere where it's cloudy and you're not gonna generate power off grid or you don't necessarily have access to a shore power connection or you don't wanna to go to an RV park and plug in next to 75 other campers with a bunch of kids and screaming people and you know all that. It's just not that there's anything wrong with that. That's a different style of, it's just not what living vehicle is. Or maybe you're going to the middle of nowhere and you don't want your family to be uh, stranded just in case something happens and you do lose power. Right. There's redundancy in place that saves your butt, saves your family, everyone still has a great time and you can stay warm, have everything still functioning and not have your vacation cut short because the power went out. Right, so that's why we have backup power systems. Now we have four different levels of redundancy. The first one is generation, power generation using the propane generator, 6,500 watts pulled from propane. So we have two different propane sources. This is a dual canister, 30 pound propane tank, just like you find on most travel trailers, right up there on the front covered by that plastic cover. And then this is a compartment. Oh, that's a big hatch. Now it's not installed on this unit, but if you wanted, there is a 60 pound cylinder that could be installed inside here. This is a, actually that's on the smaller, 24 foot unit, there's a 98 pound propane cylinder that's fixed that could be installed there as an option. So if you wanna maximize your power redundancy and capacity to be able to go off grid, you can have that option installed. Now, next redundancy that we have, we've got shore power, of course, if you're gonna go anywhere and you wanna plug into a, a campground or your house or 
generate, you know, charge your energy, energy system from shore power. You have that. That's the third level. And then we have the fourth, which is energy integration. Now that is where we take the tow truck or the tow vehicle. This is one of our tow vehicles. Come over here. I'll show you real quick. Every tow vehicle for living vehicle is robust and it has an amazing engine. This is a F-350. This is designed to tow the smaller 24 foot HD, but we do have an energy integration system installed. Here's a nice little branded cover, but this is a connector port for a high power alternator and a signal wire that goes back and it powers your energy bank. So here's the connector port on the LV, same three ports right there. And you can plug that in and that's a very high power pulls a lot of energy from the alternator, which is custom installed in the tow vehicle itself. So four different levels of redundancy with the primary being these beautiful solar awnings up on the roof. So pop quiz, can LV run every system off grid fully electric? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Winning. All right, so as an electric travel trailer, get off grid, stay off grid, that's the goal. All right, let's continue along here as a pro model. So this is a trim level HD 30 pro. We have some night, it's called the night edition. And it's this body armor protectant, which is installed along the lower trim. Um, we have some more storage hatches here, by the way, another backup system, not just energy backup, but this is heating backup. So heat is one of the things that takes the most power while you're off grid. Um, also, when you need heat, you don't tend to have a lot of sun. Maybe you want to heat in the nighttime or the winter when there's not a lot of solar hours. Um, so we do have install every single living vehicle does have a backup uh, heater. It's a 35K BTU gas furnace. Um, and in case you haven't been following us for the last six plus years, um, mm. we have been living in living vehicles and all sorts of trailers over the years. Um, like Matthew said, I like the warm, I like the beach, he likes the cold, he likes to ski in mountains. He's dragged me to a lot of places that I would prefer have not to be, be at. Um, <laughs> or during that time, right? During that time where sure. it's cold as... Just cold. Cold? Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep it PG. It is cold outside and I can say very confidently that the shower has been nice and hot. Um, just it's very comfortable. So if you're a couple and you're not sure, you know, oh, I don't like the cold or I don't like the hot, this literally allows you to make everybody happy. It's the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So you talked a little bit about the shower and the inside. Let's uh, give folks a, a tour of the interior of the LV and uh, let's step inside. All right, shower time. Okay, follow me inside as I take you for a tour of our spa bathroom. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so RVs are notoriously known for really, really bad bathrooms. Uh, when Matthew first told me that we were going to be living on the road in an RV full time, the first thing I said was we need to create a better bathroom because these things are ugly. So what we've done is create something that feels more like a spa bathroom, something you'd find in a hotel, and, and you actually feel like you want to spend time in it. It's light, it's bright. We have this beautiful skylight in here. And if you can see that, um, really awesome. You can shower in the morning. There's trees, squirrels, birds up ahead. Um, you truly forget that you are in a trailer and it's kind of your own personal oasis. Um, we have some really beautiful finishes here. We have some black walnut. Um, this is very easy to uh, lift up and clean. Underneath is just an all aluminum pan. Um, so very clean materials, um, mold and rot resistant, bacteria resistant. Uh, we've got this beautiful rainfall shower. We've got a little hand wand, body sprayer, um, kind of a European style shower. So lots of options for washing your kids, low flow if you're trying to save water. Um, we've got a lot of great storage. Um, so you can see some of our cabinetry here. Um, this toilet is just our standard foot flush. Uh, we will show you we've got a compost toilet here in another unit. So we'll give you a look at that. Um, one ridiculous feature that is not necessary, but we love, um, is this light up mirror. So if you're putting makeup on in the morning, shaving, you get a nice look at yourself, wonder who you are, what you're doing here. Um, and also this anti-fog. So it gets steamy in here, uh, humidity, touch that button and it will defog your mirror. Um, we've got some 
kind of other beautiful fixtures in here, um, a lot more storage. Usually Matt gets one drawer and I get all the rest. Um, again, these cabinets uh, and drawers are all aluminum. Um, so those puppies are not going to open up while you're traveling on the road. Um, over here, one of my other favorite features, we have an electric heater. So this is specifically for the bathroom area, also doubles as a towel heater. Um, so if you have your towels, robe, anything you want to kind of have pop in here before you take your shower, come out um, kind of warm and snugly. So that's a quick look at our bathroom. All right. Hey, guys, do want to do a short little segue and show you, a, uh, take you into another HD living vehicle uh, that we have on site because this unit has been configured with a different bathroom option, and that is the compost toilet. So this is the off-grid spa bath. And what's great about this is it maximizes water savings. So for those of you that want to go off-grid, stay off-grid and kind of take the standard toilet that you would use more water. We have another option that's kind of a higher water use, which is an electric bidet, marine style toilet with a macerator. That's the ultimate luxury. Then you have the foot flush, the standard porcelain toilet. It's a great product. And then you have the compost. This is the, the other end of the extreme. It's maximizing water savings and off-grid usage. Now what's great about this is it is it looks like a residential toilet. But a couple of the great features here is that there's basically a glorified bucket in there that separates the solids and puts it in there. And there's always negative air pressure down there. So just like a uh, an airplane, airplane toilet, through this gap here, there's always air coming down through that and then venting out this pipe right here. That goes all the way up the wall and out the ceiling. So what that does is it's always bringing air down into the bowl and out the ceiling. So there's kind of a smell-free functionality with this toilet by design, which I love. Um, because in a small bathroom space, you know, you do have the ventilation, uh, which draws air out and humidity out, but you also have that functionality in the toilet. That's always happening. Um, so the other benefit with this is it increases your gray water capacity because what used to be a black water tank now is converted to a gray water tank and you can have over a hundred gallons of gray water storage capacity. So that's really sweet. So uh, back to the tour and the other unit. And uh, this is the compost, uh, compost option for the spa bath. All right, thanks for joining me in the bathroom. Um, Matt is gonna come back in and give us a full kind of review of our beautiful energy panel here. Um, and also this very cool system that shows you how much energy you're creating. So Matt, come on in. Awesome, thanks Joanna. Okay, so energy system. We put this in the hallway. Uh, it's easy to access. This is kind of your control panel, your brains of the operation. Um, we try and keep everything very simple, uh, easy, centralized, uh, and there's two primary functions here. So first thing, this is all your controls, and there's not a lot here, um, primarily because it's all on this digital screen. Um, so I'll start with that. Um, this is the real-time power management system. So this allows you to see and have real-time visibility of whatever you're generating from a power perspective. Um, so right now, uh, we have an 87% you know, cap at capacity power bank. Uh, this is a 72 kilowatt hour unit. That means there's 72 kilowatt hours of battery storage on here. It's massive. Um, this unit that we just stepped in is uh, has a slightly less amount of solar uh, on it. So we are generating, this is the smaller of the uh, of the two units, and this is we're generating about 1600 watts um, instantaneous. So we're adding the shade a little bit right now. Uh, but what this does, you can see these little blue dots kind of with power flowing to and from solar panels going into the inverter, powering up your AC loads. Battery bank is charging right now at a rate of 1400 watts. And then you're also running about five watts of DC power. It's probably just some lights. Um, this can be monitored remotely. So we have an app that we include that you can see the power management wherever you are. As long as you have an internet connection, you can see all that. Um, one of the things that we have pulled a lot of technology from is the marine industry. So this is a custom power panel that we designed for 12 and 24 volts. This is all of your energy systems. You can see everything, living lights, bathroom hall lights, bedroom lights, all this is designed in a way to where if you run a circuit overload or you have a trip, it's as easy as turning it back on. You know you're generating power. You're running power to any one device if the light's on. So your water heater, on. It's that simple. And so we have this in a really nice enclosure, clearly laid out, so you know exactly what you're using. If there's something you don't want to use, or you want to turn something off for some reason, you just flip a switch. So 
It's that easy. It's in this really nice container, plexiglass cover. Gives you a lot of visibility as to what you're running. Everything else that you have in here, this is your systems control panel. So a lot of the critical monitoring systems like your tank, tank levels, um, we do have the water heater control, the various awning and exterior light controls, uh, the belly fan. That's a great device because it circulates air through the entire system, which allows for the basement to be warm. So whatever temperature it is in the living space, it's also that temperature down in the basement. So the, the floor, the aluminum floor is warm or cold, depending on whether it's hot or cold outside and you're heating or cooling the space. So it's a passive warm floor design. It's really nice. We have some other stuff here. This is the backup furnace for heat. This is an electric heater. Uh, that's another backup as well. Um, and then we have a Euroloft control switch. Um, we did, we'll show that in, in some B-roll right here, but you push this up and down and that will control a bed, which is an option inside the living space. So, you know, now that we talk about that, why don't we go and take a step and join Joanna again and uh, go right back into the living area and we can show that off. Wait, you forgot to say something. Um, so, Talk about this and how we monitor that through the app. Oh, I did. And I talked about that. Did you talk about our awesome customer service? <laughs> okay, so what's really cool is that we can monitor everybody's energy systems remotely. So we are able to see if your battery is getting to a critically low level and we notify you. Oh, yeah. So it's our customer service team. So we have techs that are always standing by at the ready. And if there's something happening, we get a, an alarm triggered. Um, and that's through... GPS LTE technology that you know it sends a signal out and we can know what your energy system is doing. So if there's something going on, you'll get a phone call from us alerting you that there's something going on with your energy system. So that's just one of the services that we offer as part of the ownership. That is amazing. We will call you before something goes wrong. Okay, <laughs> who else does that? <laughs> Thank you for the addition, Joanna. All right, what's next? Uh, we're gonna go take a look at the living space. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna move into the living room area. Um, in the kitchen, but first, I just wanted to point out all of this awesome storage. Um, living vehicle is designed for full-time living, so that means we have a lot of different spaces to put all of your things. Not just gear and kind of the big stuff that go into the exterior hatches, but just your everyday things. Um, this hatch, specifically this little cubby is great if you wanna throw your shoes down there. Um, great for little pet features. Just a nice little hack. Um, something that we learned from living in RVs for so long is you need all these little storage spaces um, that feel just like home. So come follow me in. We've got Matthew here. We're actually going to show you uh, what's under under the floor here. Yeah, nice. So we are in the main living space. This is kind of our, our great room, our combined kitchen, dining, living um, patio. Uh, you guys just stepped out onto the patio looking in. And right in the middle here is one of the things we borrowed from the marine industry. We call this the bilge. So this is the access down to the underfloor compartment. And that's right down here. Uh, so this is a service hatch, by the way. Um, this is under what would be the island. So the island right now, you can actually pivot out on the deck. We've moved the island outside. That is portable. You can move that around. That just slides right outside. Um, but when you move the island out, you can see here, you've got this little handle, which you can lift up. Now, this is not for storage. This is just for, um, well, this is where the energy system lives. So I just wanted to lift this up and show you guys what we've got and what we've installed here. So this is massive. This is marine grade energy. Um, this is all by a, a component manufacturer called Victron. Um, so Victron based, and this unit has 18 kilowatts of power. So that's the inverter power, which is pulling energy from your battery system. And that allows you to power every single piece of electronic equipment inside the living vehicle. Uh, we have a ton of solar, ton of storage, and a ton of power to run all your equipment. So just wanted to take a quick look and show you guys what that looks like. Again, you're not going to put anything down there, but just know that that's where we locate it. Of course, it's all underneath an aluminum floor. So all those electronics are within that encapsulated space. It's conditioned. We're running air down through there at every every moment of the day and that's kind of the, the foundation of the entire LV right beneath your feet. So uh, Joanna, why don't you come back and help me show us around the living area uh, which you helped us design and maybe we can talk a little bit about that. That We started the company as a brick and mortar family business and... Oh yeah, by the way, we started the company. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we, we're, the, we're, the, we're the founders. Um, I'm, a, I'm a licensed architect and designer. Uh, Joanna 
heads up the marketing and kind of the sales, the vision of the functionality of the unit. Um, and then together we designed LV. So we started this out of a living vehicle, which was birthed out of a, about a decade of custom renovations in our prior business, where we'd take trailers and renovate them. and did a, over 400 of those in a company called Hoffman Architecture. So that evolved. Joanne and I wanted to create something better, more capable, and that turned into the vision for living vehicle. So we started that out of a trailer, a living vehicle. Yeah. So if you're wondering what do these people know about trailers and RVs and why should I listen to them? We know way too much, <laughs> way too much. This person, he can go on and on. And we have a lot of videos on YouTube. If you want to get more into the details of all the technical stuff, we're trying to keep this one somewhat short, but when you create the business and actually the thing that you are in, we have a story about every single thing, yeah. every bolt, every drawer, why we made that design decision. And that comes from our own experience of living in designing spaces for so long. Yeah. Not now, a, oh, go ahead. Go, go Sorry. ahead. No. Not only was it a, um, a passion, it was an obsession. You know, we would go to bed staring out, out the skylight, looking at the stars and then Right before we were falling asleep, I remember I, I would tell you, I was like, hey, Joanna, I got this idea for marketing. Wouldn't it be great to show people this this experience? And it just permeated every essence of our being. And it's just, it's been such a passion for us for so long um, that this is really what, what we've created. And the reason that I just wanted to bring that up is that everything you see here in this one simple space, you know, both Joanna and I have had such an influence into all the design decisions. Yeah, it can be super annoying when you're living with your business partner in the thing that you've created and they're constantly pointing out, are we doing a good job of marketing this? Yeah, but right. there is a lot to be excited about. Right. Now, you may be wondering, okay, architect, engineer, designer, that's pretty impressive. How do I follow that? I am a normal person who got sucked into marrying this guy. And what's really cool is I have no RV experience. And you might be wondering, why is that a benefit? I am not somebody who has grown up with trailers and has been camping. And what we've done is we've created a space for people that didn't grow up with that obsession um, to feel comfortable. Like you are more like in a home or, you know, this whole glamping idea um, or a luxury hotel. Um, it's really designed for people, um, you know, just that want to enjoy an outdoor experience, but have all the comforts of home and don't necessarily want to be roughing it. Yep. So the combination of me, who has no RV experience, um, and been living this lifestyle for the past 10 years, with this guy who has all the experience and engineering and architecture brain in the world, we have somehow created a wonderful combination to bring you this. Yeah. Awesome, Joanna. Well said. Uh, and one of the things that I really latched onto there that you just said was, it's the concept of luxury without compromise. So that's really what sets living vehicle apart, is this is an off-grid, self-sustaining beast of a home that can go wherever. And what 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 this this does that nothing else even comes close to doing is it allows you all of those luxuries. Um, you know, you can go off-grid and say you're living an off-grid lifestyle with a tent, a solar-powered flashlight, and a bucket, and that's off-grid living. But that's not something I'm <laughs> <laughs> to the other extreme is living vehicle, where you don't ever have to plug in. It generates its own power. We're now creating our own water through water generation using the power we create from the sun. And we're allowing you to do all the things that we're about to show you. And that's the amazing thing about LV is that you get that five-star hotel experience traveling without compromise wherever you are. And that's, that's the vision. That's the goal in the most quality way possible. So let's, let's show you Glad some stuff. Glad you get our business plan. Let's show you some stuff. <laughs> All right. So the kitchen for me was very important because I have a background in nutrition and food and cooking and, you know, camping, doing something for a weekend. You know, it's fun to sit around a campfire and sing Kumbaya and make hot dogs and s'mores. We were great at singing Kumbaya. Yeah. No singing on this video. <laughs> um, but it's not full, full time living. Um, you know, this is something that you want to spend a lot of time in, which means you need to cook, you know, meals and have room for groceries and storage for all your pots and pans and blenders and things like that. Um, and so that's exactly what we created. So let's take a look. Um, one of my favorite things is this fridge. It is solar powered. Of course, we've got our little ice maker here. Um, this is just such a beautiful fridge and we've got so much space for, you know, fruits and veggies and storing lots of stuff. You want to get real close in there. 
And one of the things you can notice is as you pan up to the freezer, of course, we've got an ice maker because who doesn't love their afternoon cocktails on the road? Not while you're driving, though. <laughs> Um, Not while you're driving. And all the little details, you know, we've got these latches, um, again, to keep everything secure while you are in transit. That's one of the things we learned is that when you're traveling on the road, very common to have stuff come out of cabinets, you know, refrigerators to open up, cabinets to open up, and then... Not in living vehicles. In not in LV, in other products. We did a lot of consulting for other, um, in our tenure in the RV industry, we did a lot of consulting for very large businesses like motorhome manufacturers and trailer manufacturers. And when we would be loaned products, we'd be driving motorhomes across the U.S., um, we would have disasters, like this one moment where a bottle of vinegar, I'm getting excited, just yeah, gesticulating, yeah. Um, a bottle of vinegar fell out of a cabinet because the cabinet door opened, and then along with all of our pots and pans, that vinegar just found its way into every nook and cranny, and the smell of that balsamic or white vinegar, whatever that was, to this day, it's, it was just life-changing. And that was like, wow, we got to optimize for quality first. So the cabinetry, specifically what you're about to show, has been designed so intentionally in such a high high grade, high quality. The detailing is phenomenal. It meets, it blows my standards away, and I'm so happy with the quality of the cabinets. You see how excited he gets about cabinetry? It's crazy. <laughs> okay, go All ahead. Right. Uh, so we've got this great pull-out pantry here. Um, the shelves are adjustable, so you can put tall things, you know, bottles of wine, olive oil, cans. Um, what's really nice is this is so sturdy. Um, you can really load this up and it's going to stay put. Uh, we've got a ton of drawers. This is a great one for silverware. It's super, super long. Again, all the cabinetry is aluminum. Um, this is not cabinetry you'll find in any other RV. Um, it is commercial style. Um, and those latches are not going anywhere. We've got this nice little pullout for uh, trash and recycling or compost or however you want to separate your waste. Um, some other great features here. We've got our um, induction stove, uh, stove top. We've got our... Uh, now you just kind of glanced over one of the features. This is an amazing induction stove. Three burners. Like that's an all electric three burner stove in a trailer. The amount of power that's needed to power that thing is is crazy you know and, and then right below it you're about to say there's an oven which is electric too this is all this is an all electric kitchen so you can run this this thing from from the sun i appreciate the reminder um we you know we've been doing this for a while and so a lot of these features that we kind of take for granted like oh yeah of course we create water from air and yeah of course we've got all of this great stuff um, you want to keep going? No, go ahead. Keep, mode. keep, keep rolling. Um, so some more great storage here. Yeah. Just look at that. Look how much storage. I mean, these things Come these on are in close. deep overhead storage compartments that go all the way back to the back end of the trailer. Um, another thing here we have is a deep sink. Um, that was always a big pet peeve of mine is when in campers you get this little sink that all you can do is pretty much wash your hands with. Um, so we've got a nice deep commercial style sink here. Pull out wound. Um, again, things that you're used to, you know, seeing and using in your home. Uh, we have our Insta Hot water, which is great. Um, we do have a kettle on the stove, but if you have this feature, you just turn it on. It's electric heater, um, and you've got water for your tea or coffee first thing in the morning, a little pump for your soap or dishwashing liquid. Um, again, just a ton of storage. Um, you know, we can open up all of these great things. Uh, this dishwasher is amazing. Um, it's a very high-quality brand, Fisher Paykel, um, and you can put about six. Six, six setting dishwasher. Not that we've ever had six people here with us, but... Right. But it's more efficient than doing a load of dishes by hand in the sink. It is, yes. So you that'll only use about a gallon of water on the most economic setting. And whereas you do all your six, you know, party for six dishes in the sink, you're probably going to use you know, four or five gallons of water. So pretty sweet little Don't. luxury and energy saving device. Uh, you were about to talk about this. I think I might have cut you off. Go for it. Um, what are you cooking for us? 
It's, it's an oven. It's an electric oven. This is part of the upgrade package. This is sweet. It's a beautiful brand. It's Bosch. And it does three things. It's a true electric oven, convection oven, and a microwave, all in one. Powered by your energy system. That'll cook a turkey. Cook more than a turkey. I love this thing. So there's so many cool little parts and pieces that we've elevated in this kitchen package because life on the road full time, you're not always going to get to go out to eat, especially if you're out in nature, enjoying nature, take fresh food with you to go and then create a masterpiece, a culinary masterpiece, wherever you are. I'm not sure about a masterpiece. Well, they do that. You do. You absolutely do. And so you can do that in this kitchen. Um, so now that you're done with your masterpiece, you can enjoy it. And we have a couple different options for dining. Um, one is right here, you see, for when there's foul weather play outside and you may, might be raining, you might need to enjoy dining here in the indoor dining space. This is an adaptable space. Uh, our favorite place to eat is out on the deck. Um, so we'll go show that off in a sec. Um, but the patio deck is just an extension of the indoor space. But this is a shape shifter, this space right here. It allows you to do a lot of different things. And the one that you're doing right now is you're about to eat something nice, right? So this is a dining area. Uh, you can easily convert this from dining to lounge because you've also got your media center here. And this is the 42 inch 4K television. And you've got this really nice new surround entertainment center so you can stack uh, any of your candles or artifacts there. Um, it's really nice. Artifacts from all of your travel. <laughs> your tchotchkes, your travel tchotchkes. Um, and then, Let's reel it in, <laughs> you know, one of the beautiful things here, this, this is our uh, air conditioning system. So that's one of two. The other one's in the bedroom, and that's the indoor air handler. That is a, uh, it's an 18,000 BTU mini split. Yeah. And again, just take a look at it, just how it kind of opens and closes. This is such a high quality unit. Um, it's silent. Yeah. You know, we'll stop talking. You know, thank God everyone can enjoy a moment of silence and listen to this. Yeah. Silent. Yeah, there's nothing there. And that's that's it. that's on full. There's a lot of air coming out right now. Um it's just so cool. This does this heat and cool, so depending on what you need. Um and there are two of these. So we'll show the other one in the bedroom too, two different zones. It's two forty volts and that runs with the integrated mini split system that we've designed into this unit. Um, so like we said, this does convert into a bed. We may show that on B-roll. Um, we've got this awesome ultra leather uh, material on the cushion. I uh, wish you could feel what I'm feeling. It is so soft and buttery. Um, it's very, very comfortable. Kind of feels like a memory foam. Uh, it is scratch resistant and water resistant. So if you've got pets, messy kids, um, or just messy like I am, I'm always spilling and dropping things. And this is so, so easy to clean. Um, it's a, really, really love this. Material. It's a great point. All the materials in here we've learned from the realities of living on the road um, to make it extra durable. The longevity and durability of materials inside of a small space are paramount because they they get more use because in a small space you're usually bumping up to stuff or you got your dogs with you, they're jumping on the couch, or people use use spaces more in a small space than a large space. Um, so durability of materials is exceptional. Um, this space also does convert into a bed, like you said. It's a great media lounge. So those of you that like to put your feet up and enjoy a movie or just put your feet up and after a long day of activities. You deserve uh, it. Um, this is a great way. You just kind of make this into a crash pad uh, where this comes out. Uh, and this is just a really nice horizontal surface. You put some pillows up against there and then you can watch a feature film here on your 42-inch TV. Um, or just you know enjoy views outside the outside the windows. Um, it's a great way to rest, and it's really adaptable. Um, so uh, there's another part that we don't have installed inside this unit. Uh, we'll show that on some B-roll right now. Um, this is the Euro Loft, and this is another sleeping space. So where we're sitting right now is sleeping for two. This is a true queen size bed, and directly above it, mirrored in the same dimensions, is another bed that comes down from the ceiling. So with the push of a button in about three to four seconds, that comes all the way down and the bed reveals another queen size bed stowed right up in the ceiling. That's rated for 600 pounds. It sleeps two full size adults. And it is great because you never have to make your bed. I love that feature. You can just put it up and say goodbye. 
Leave you know, your- and for all the people that want to comment and say that I'm lazy, that I like to use a dishwasher while I'm camping and I don't like to make my bed, you know what? I don't. And I get to enjoy these features because when you're doing this day in and day out, well, there's know, a difference. It's, it's there's a difference between camping and living, you know, and, you know, a dishwasher in a, in a, in a home. You know, that's not necessarily a luxury nowadays, right? I mean, most people have dishwashers. Um, you know, I've lived in a lot of spaces that I don't, especially here in Santa Barbara. There's some older homes and apartments that don't have that kind of thing. But, you know, when you're maximizing for the quality of life and you want to spend more time doing the things that you love, um, having those things that save time really leverage that opportunity. Um, not only do we have dishwashers that save you from the time to do that, you can enjoy, you know, some time on the on the patio, you know, watching the sunset or things like the washer dryer that we're about to, to show you. Um, we're gonna take a, a step into the bedroom and that's where we store some amazing features, including the washer dryer that saves us, I don't know, half of a day on our weekends when we're traveling from having to go to a laundromat and just waste time. So, you know, one of the concepts about LV is saving time. And let's go take a look at the bedroom and show you some of those great features there that allow you to do that. Welcome to the master suite. So very exciting for this unit. This is the first time we've offered this is a king bed. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests for this, whether you are a couple that like your space or you sleep with your dogs or kids and you just want to kind of cuddle up, um, we have a king bed and it is awesome. Yeah, so there's a lot of different options for this bedroom. Um, king bed is just one of them. Uh, we do have a queen bed option. Uh, so if you want a little bit more circulation around, actually, there's so many options. We have a mobile office. We have two twin beds. We have a bunk room where you have two queen bunks, which a uh, Euro loft is above. Oh, look at that. She made it up. <laughs> um, there's so many, so many ways to configure this bedroom, um, especially for folks that are um, kind of mobile professionals where you need a proper work studio. Uh, we install a Murphy bed style desk system on this wall here that folds down and that's a queen bed. It allows for a lot of floor space on the floor, um, but it gives you an 80 inch proper working desk. And that's another great option. You can learn more about that on our website. Um, yeah, and that's a good reminder. You know, all of our units are custom built. Um, so we have a lot of different options. We don't just offer 30 different floor plans. Uh, it's based on how you're looking to use it. We work one-on-one -on -one with you and create the unit that fits your needs best. Um, and we also have some existing kind of pre-owned units if you want to get into one of those as well. Sweet. Great plug, Joanna. Um, let's see. One of the things that I always like to note is that I am six foot four. Um, so for those of you that are taller individuals, um, this unit is six foot 10. So we increased the size of this, the height of the ceiling in every living vehicle uh, from 2024 and beyond. So it's tall, tall friendly. Um, good to know. Um, so very generous size bedroom. Um, because it's a proper living space, the design of this, we wanna have a separate area for sleeping. So you can close this off, have two different areas. The Euro loft in the other room can drop down for kids or for guests. Um, you can sleep up to eight people in this unit. So you have a queen bunk room here, and then you can have another queen bunk situation in the living area, so a lot of capacity. Uh, we do have our other mini split unit here. I'm actually sitting here kind of cold. Mm -hmm. um, it is hitting me from across the room. Yeah, uh, and the great thing about this, it, it's so efficient, it draws very little power, even when it's on full. Uh, so it's, it allows you to stay off grid longer. Because I think the old style Coleman units, we did have those connected to the energy system as well, but a single one of those would draw about 1500 watts when it was running. This, you can run the whole system at full and get less, less power draw, but a lot more efficiency. So these are like, for those of you that are technically minded, this is a SEER rating, which is an efficiency rating of about 21. Uh, so extremely efficient. Don't have any of the heat loss in traditional ducted systems that are in the roof, stuff like that. So really excited about this. One of the first times that you know, anyone's ever accomplished this in, an, in a you know, product that's been built on, on the line. If you're not technically minded, it makes the room really cold. <laughs> <laughs> or really warm, because this does both. All right, let's talk about some of the features we see. Um, so beautiful bed. This is a tall bed. It's a proper sleeping space. Um, one of the things, and we're not going to do it right now <laughs> since you guys, <laughs> since you guys are on the bed. Um, but we have, a, it's a lift up bed. 
one of the benefits of having the dedicated bed, whether it's the king or the queen, is having a ton of lift up storage underneath. Um, one of the great things about living vehicle in general is that whenever we have cabinetry, we don't, we don't hide systems behind our cabinets. Um, and that means a lot of trailers and RVs, you have a great looking cabinet there, but then you open the cabinet door and you find, oh, there's a furnace there or there's a water heater there. And it's not actual storage space. Uh, because we have the basement design underneath this raised floor, this is all storage. And then I'll lift it up again. One of the great things here is that at the base of the bed, we have a dresser. So for even more storage, which is readily and easily accessed. So you can have kind of long-term storage back there and your daily storage kind of his and her, or, you know, whatever you have right underneath in this four drawer dresser. Yeah, and that's um, just a little evolution again of us having experience of living in these spaces is as easy as it is to lift this up. Um, you know, it's finding I didn't feel like doing it every day to access things. Um, so we have all of those little drawers. So you can just easily grab some things that are more kind of just every day. And then if you've got seasonal clothes or kind of, you know, bins, gear, things like that, um, that can live under here. Awesome. Uh, so let's talk about more storage. One of the benefits of having the bed oriented in this direction, you've got overhead storage side to side. So this is just a bunch of storage all throughout the unit, um, which I love, you know, more storage, more stuff, more full-time living cap capabilities. Um, very functional. You've got a nightstand to either side of the bed. And this is, uh, this is built out of Walnut. Uh, we have a couple different options there. This is part of the luxury finishes package and we'll move some pillows here. So you can just see this gorgeous black Walnut headboard at the head of the bed, really high quality brings in just, I mean, this, this is all solid wood, solid wood, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Uh, and that's a good reminder, you know, speaking of wood, a lot of people talk about the materials that are in here. Uh, we use wood for very specific purposes, which is um, decorative. Yeah, um, architectural, yes. right? So it's not structural. Everything in here is metal in terms of the structure, the integral part of what's holding the stuff together. Um, the wood is decorative and we try and stay off from pushing our own decorative agenda on anyone because when you move into a home, you don't want a bunch of flashy colors and textures and all that stuff because that's how you can really make a house very dated very quickly. And not everyone likes our style. So what do we do? Help me out. I just want to see where you're going with that. Um, yeah, we like for people to be able to, you know, decorate their own home, you know, put your own spin and flair on it. Um, so we do provide a very neutral kind of canvas, you know, a lot of white muted uh, natural materials. Um, so you can make it your own. Yeah, put in, you know, artwork and, you know, anything there to make it your own. You know, this is just our example of keeping things very kind of muted. So, you know, you can see what, what style you like. We had a lot of great customer installations where they, they do some really cool stuff in some very unique living vehicles. Um, so, you know, we try and keep it very muted, like Joanna said. All right, um, the benef another benefit to this style of living space or the bedroom is that you have cross ventilation now. So you've got a very large window to either side and these are all operable so you can let airflow come through the unit to side to side. Uh, whereas in the previous model, it was kind of a windows were positioned on two different adjacent walls. So not as much airflow. This is really great from that perspective. Yes, yeah, so if you've been following along, we have kind of flipped the floor plan of the bedroom, which has allowed us to have this big king size bed. Um, and don't forget, we mentioned the washer dryer before. And um, right before we go that, I got one more thing to show us. This is a integrated Wi-Fi audio system uh, before we go and show the other side. Uh, this is the entry level product. This is included with every living vehicle. If you want an option, it's an upgrade. You can get an architectural grade home surround sound system, both the home theater. You can put a projector up overhead right here that fires, uh, that throws an image to the foot of the bed. Um, it's a, it's like a 70 inch projector screen. You have architectural speakers in the ceiling, a subwoofer mounted down below for hi-fi audio and video. So on the road, if you want to really geek out on entertainment, we got that covered. So now we're going to go to what you wanted to show. Now I'm going to talk about laundry. <laughs> so we've got our washer dryer here combo. This is awesome. We've been using this model for so many years. Um, like Matthew said, the last thing you want to do when you are on the road is spend time trying to find a laundromat. 
carry quarters around with you. I don't know about you, but every time I've gone to a public laundromat, I always lose some article of clothing. Yeah, or, or get damaged, right? Or you end up with something that's not yours, and that can be even weirder. I always get stains on socks, and you know, just oils tend to accumulate. So it's just really nice to have your own quality control when it comes to laundry. And this isn't just a washer. This is a dryer, too. I think you kind of just said that as if it was a normal thing. Yeah, the nice thing for anybody who's mold sensitive, um, since it is a dryer as well, there's no water that's going to kind of build up here in the gaskets or any of that. Um, so everything about this unit, you know, we haven't talked too much about the sustainability and the materials. Um, we have that in another video and blogs, but we are TRA certified um, to be the most sustainable RV. Um, and what does that mean? Um, it's, you know, green. So the green, green sustainability movement, um, it's like LEED. If you're familiar with LEED for homes, it's a sustainability criteria where you get a certification that says this is how healthy and sustainable, how green the space is. Uh, and TRA is the industry standard for RVs and living vehicle is, I mean, just completely off the charts. Go ahead and take a look at the TRA certification website and you can compare Living Vehicle to every other brand out there. They, they had to create a new chart for us. It's just, I'm so impressed with what we were able to accomplish there. And so it's just really, really I'm really honored to, uh, to, to partner with that organization so that we can highlight some of the sustainable features of LV. Um, yeah, because we have created this to be a full-time living space. We want to make sure that it's a healthy space for you and your entire family. Well, let's uh, wrap up with the bedroom. Uh, we do have behind this closet. So this is the same door for both the entry and the closet as well. Now, mind you, you would have a curtain, so it's not installed right now, but there's a linen curtain that comes down here to add a little bit of softer materiality into this room. This is a four foot closet. The whole closet's six foot because the other two feet are behind that. There's more storage up above the washer dryer and below there's a drawer. But what we have here is a hanging four foot closet and you have overhead storage for hats and you know clothing, you know, stuff like that. And then full height hanging storage, which is about six foot tall. Uh, you do have some equipment down here below to the right. Uh, this is a three-stage canister filter for the air and water quality package for the unit. Also, our tankless water heater is down there as well. A couple breakers here at the back of the back of the uh, unit for our solar breaker panels. So that's the stuff that you wouldn't normally need to access. And it's got this full height mirror here. So when you're looking to get ready in the morning, you got a full size, really nice, again, quality materials. This is walnut. This door, it's it's hard to really communicate the, the, the materiality in terms of how heavy stuff is. Uh, we've really optimized in the living vehicle for quality first. Um, this is not a lightweight unit. We don't want to be a lightweight unit. That's not what it's designed for because we have trucks that are extremely capable and stay tuned for the very end of this video. We're going to tease the 4500 tow vehicle for the new 2024 HD shortly. So stay tuned. Go ahead. Look like you wanted to, <laughs> wanted to say so, something. Right before we get into the track, we're going to go into the last um, area of the living vehicle, which is the patio. Um, my personal favorite, it's perfect blend of indoor and outdoor, and it creates a whole new space um, for you and your family to enjoy. So follow us outside. All right. As we're walking to the patio, one of the things that I noticed that I really want to point out here, which is just amazing, um, we've got both air conditioning, air conditioning units on 64. It's about 75 outside and they're running on full right now. Um, look at the power draw. These two units are pulling under 800 watts of power. Now this is the entire unit of power draw right now on the AC side of things. So we have things like the TV, uh, Insta hot water's running, some other stuff's running too, but just take a note of that. We've got 100% power in the battery bank. So we're float charging right now in the middle of the day haven't even reached noon yet and we're already at 100% full running full speed on these air conditioning units and it is cold in here. I mean Joanna and our videographer Emma today can attest these things are working really well and so I'm just so excited to really highlight how effective and efficient this new air conditioning unit is because it is game changing the amount of technology that we've integrated into this unit. So let's continue on and uh, show off the patio. Okay follow us out to our patio. So what's great about this? I'm talking about this door. It's heavy. <laughs> it's everything's heavy. Everything's built well, and it's it's intentionally built well because it's designed to last a really long time. Um, and the patio, the patio is something that we learned very early on in our designs of custom installations and other products. Like we designed over 400 and built over 400 trailers and buses and vans and you name it. Um, 
very rarely did you have anything to where you could go outside and enjoy the outdoors from the inside on the same level. It's very, very common to have a slide out to where you just make the interior space bigger. But there's not many places that I've lived outside of trailers that haven't had a patio deck. And anytime I want to go out and enjoy the outdoors in a trailer or a motorhome, even a class A, I needed to walk down those, those steps, those very dangerous four steps and it was a risk, it was a hazard, and then I'd have to be in the dirt. Not that dirt isn't great, it's outdoors. I love, I love playing in the dirt. But when I'm enjoying a day-to-day -day lifestyle, I don't necessarily want to go and cook in the dirt. Camping's great, you can go out there and make a fire pit, and if you wanna roast some s'mores, let's do that. But on a day-to-day -day basis, when I'm out, I wanna enjoy the patio deck, because there's so many things we do outside, because if you're out enjoying nature, this eight-foot patio slider is really just a transition space blurring the distinction between indoors and outdoors so that you can enjoy that outdoor space every single day with it's just that easy you slide it and then you just walk right out and this you can do so many things out here so why don't you tell us what we can do out here and let's go take a look at the patio deck so the thing i love about the patio is it's a very versatile space and like matthew said we don't do slide outs it just creates more circulation space but it doesn't give you the ability to actually be outdoors. Um, this little feature here is really important. We've got this snap-on mesh screen that goes all the way around. So if you have pets, little kids, things like that, um, this is a fully enclosed space um, that's safe for them to you know, be out here uh, for the whole family to enjoy. Um, so we've got our island here. So again, this does live in the kitchen. Um, you can see those four little holes there. So usually it gets bolted over there, um, but we can bring this out and use it as kind of a, a party area, um, you know, grill, um, enjoy some time out here. Um, just to show you the island itself, there's of course more storage in there. Um, so if you wanna keep kind of your grill items, stuff like that. Um, what else shall we say about this patio? Uh, patio deck's been redesigned. It is now capable of supporting 1,500 pounds. So you and all your closest friends can hang out on the patio together uh, and party outside ounce. So raising and lowering this thing is as easy as with the push of a button, push the button raises up, push the button comes down, and then it folds out. It's no longer a, a kit of parts that you have to manufacture this thing every single time you put it together. It's two motions and a couple of cotter pins that put it together. So extremely easy to convert. Um, we spend most of our time out here on the patio. Um, you know, we enjoy meals out here. You know, you, you'll do yoga out on the patio deck in the mornings. Um, it, you put this umbrella out and then you've also got the, the full shade of the solar awning. Um, it's an amazing space to just open that door and enjoy wherever you are, wherever you're traveling to, because Living Vehicle is designed to get outside and appreciate the outdoors. And that was one of the things I learned with a lot of the RVs out there is you, you have a great interior space, which is big, and they try and make it as big as possible, but you have these tiny little windows. You might have one window that's okay, you know, a good size, but we really want to not only see through the patio, through that patio slider from the out, inside to outdoors, but we wanna be in the outdoors with the breeze and with the birds and all that stuff, enjoying where we're traveling to. And it's so important to me, you know, influenced by you know, nature growing up, uh, to live in a space in a, in a way that you can appreciate that. That was beautiful. Thank you. So I think this is a great place to wrap up. Anything else you want to say about the patio? Um, every LV comes with one. It's the uh, living vehicle signature. So patio deck is probably my favorite feature and it's a great place to end. Uh, right before we get to our final wrap, we're going to show you a teaser of the 4500 tow vehicle for the living vehicle HD 30 2024. So thanks for joining us for the full length tour of the 30 foot HD. Um, let's go take a look at that truck. All right, so long anticipated teaser. This is the 4500 Ram. This is the LVT. So it's the custom tow vehicle for the 2024 HD 30 living vehicle. And this we have done completely custom. You know, every single inch of this truck we have touched. It was a super single conversion from a dually in the back, the 4500. This comes with a stock rail chassis, chassis cab. And so we have a custom bed installation back there. There is so much to offer on this truck. And we're going to be doing a full video 
on this truck separately. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us today for our tour of the 30 foot HD. Um, like I said, we have so many more videos. Uh, there's so much to talk about. So subscribe on YouTube, uh, check out our website, livingvehicle.com. We're on Instagram, Facebook, um, living vehicle. Please send us a message. We'd love to uh, chat and, uh, answer your questions. Uh, subscribe and like this video and thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Well, this has been Joanna and Matthew Hoffman with Living Vehicle. We'll see you next time.